<laughs> is it a suitcase or is it a backpack? I'm not sure yet. Thanks guys for joining me. This is another Outdoorsman 1 video review where today we're going to be talking about the Farpoint 55 made by Osprey. And now, well, if you guys have been around the backpacking industry or company or scene for any amount of time, you'll probably will know that Osprey is one of the leading backpacks in the nation. They have a 100% satisfaction guarantee through REI, and as well, they have their what they call almighty guarantee, which pretty much covers everything. Uh, it says any reason, any product, any era. So any of their products from any time, you can count on them having a all-purpose needs, any problem, any reason, money-back guarantee. Now guys, I bought this backpack off of a complete referral from one of my best friends. Uh, actually, I was hanging out with one of my buddies and well, he said, this is a really good backpack. And I was like, okay. And he was a guy that had been traveling around Europe for about the last two months. And he said, this is what I used every day of my trip. And I was like, wow, I've been traveling around Paraguay for the last two years. And I wish I had something like this. Now, this is not just your conventional backpack. This is a suitcase. But, it's also hiding something pretty cool. A complete backpack strap setup. And so today, in this video review, we're going to be going over the aspects that I have found to be really useful and really cool on this item. I would like to just show you guys what the Osprey Farpoint 55 Tandem Backpack Setup gives you. It's the Farpoint Farview, as it says here on the tag. So what we've got, let's just take it from the back. You immediately see a patch of Velcro, which um, upon further review, you'll notice is there for the reason of tucking away this flap. So before we break anything out, on the backpack's right side, if you're looking at it from the, from the, the strap side here, you've got a big carrying handle, just like any carry-on just like any uh, suitcase would have. It's pretty sturdy, it's woven in, and it's reinforced seams all the way around here. Now, there is nothing reinforcing this, so I'm not sure if I would trust this too much with a super heavy load inside the backpack, which does concern me a little bit, but it is a really big, huge handle, but it does go into a really tiny uh, seam, but they say that it's double woven, so we'll have to see how that, how that goes. This is the medium large size, which says it is a 46 to 56 centimeters. Um, upon further review of the outside, you'll notice that it does have your tie down strap. So you could put a sleeping pad very easily right here or any kind of a stuff sack or any kind of an outside uh, mountable anything for, for your needs there. Okay. Now, before I take off the small pack, which it is hiding a day pack on here on the back side. Before I take that off, what you'll see is two water bottle attachment points. It is worth noting that it they are pretty shallow pockets for what it is. So your life straw style bottle will fit, but if it's not full of water, it might not stay in there. It is bungee. It is kind of stretchy, it is elastic, but it doesn't sink all the way down to the bottom. I don't think you're going to experience any problems unless you're really rucking around, especially if this is cinched down. So I don't really expect any problems there, just know that it is um, kind of loose on that. And then, for example, with your Nalgene style water bottle, also will fit, but doesn't sink all the way down. Now, at a basic little water bottle, a little 16 ounce water bottle, yeah, you're good. So this is a really cool feature that I did miss for the last two years when I was using my Camelback Mule. I did really miss the feature of 
uh, heavy water bottle holders on my pack. And then as well, you will notice at the top, there is a, yet again, another one of the similar straps. It's actually the same exact strap, only this one does say Osprey on it. Very nice. This does feel a little bit more sturdy because it is woven into the seam of, and the frame of the backpack. This is not a metal frame backpack. Actually, it might have a metal frame in there. It does feel like it has a metal bar in there. Uh, it's very, very thin. It's just a, like a wire bar, but it is, I'm not too much a fan of frame packs, but this is by no means a frame pack because it's not super sturdy and it's not one of those big old backpacks that you would go adding things on to the outside of. So you've got these two retention straps that you can open up, thereby revealing the backpack. Now, if you were to use this for something, I have no clue, but there is this giant pocket given here, so you they might have left that so you can store things in there that might be useful in some situations, I have no clue, but this is a giant pocket on the bottom where now you can strap this in if you were not planning to remove the day pack so this zipper will not move. But assuming that you want to detach the day pack, it's very simple. Undo the clip and pull the zipper. I have not had any problems with the zippers. They're really good zippers. Now, here you go. Here is your Osprey day pack. Now you've got two tie down points on here, which seem to be rather high quality. They're, they're reinforced very much so, maybe even more so than that. Yet again, you have your two water bottle holders right here on the day pack, so that is a plus. That comes with you. Um, then you've got one zipper pocket, the traditional lining like the majority of of Osprey products do have on the inside. I'm digging the color, neon green, my favorite color. And then you do have the the keychain. Uh, I do really like these Osprey keychains. If you've never seen them before, this is the Osprey keychain holder, which does a really good job at holding your keys down. Um, I don't know why, but I really like this setup. It just works pretty well. So you've got a pretty deep pocket. Definitely something that you could fit a smartphone in. A, a large plus size smartphone or a point and shoot style camera. Definitely a good pocket. And it's got a small pull tab on it. This is one of the big things that I really do like about Osprey is they have wonderful pull tabs and they're very stand out. They're very easy to grab and you can utilize them very easily and very quickly. Here you've got your tag. Uh, pretty simple. It does have a $200 price tag on it. They actually used to be $240, but now they're down to $180. I bought this backpack from the company, or from REI, brand new for $180 with zero discounts. They were offering a 20% discount, so I did end up getting it for a little bit cheaper. Yet again, really digging these tabs. They do have metal clips so that you might put a padlock on it or something if you wish that some of you might actually really enjoy I think that's a pretty cool addition so you're gonna go ahead and open that up cool thing on the side here it does say far point day and just in case they were you're were getting confused on what pack you're using but here you go you open that up and you see your pocket that I was talking about. the. So if you guys are worried about sizing at all, this is a perfect example of the size of the backpack. Here you go, this is an iPhone, and that is the, the size of it. This is not my iPhone, I do not use iPhones. So, <laughs> there you go, good example. So continuing on our review here on the inside of the backpack, you'll see something that's really interesting. Something that I was kind of bummed out about is there is no hydration at all <laughs> kind of a big bummer there is no hydration setup anywhere on this backpack frankly at all so that might be a bummer for you it might just be worth strapping another backpack onto the outside for you but that isn't too much of a worry for me 
because this is just a day pack. It's not a hiking pack. This isn't something that I'm going hiking with. This is something that I'm going to travel India with, for example, not something that I'm going to be traveling around backpacking in desolation wilderness. So you can see you do have your water bottle holders there. Not a big worry. I'm a big water bottle user. So you get to the inside, you see immediately yet again this neon green. That's I actually really like it besides the color because you can see where your stuff is pretty evidently. So you go to this pull tab, open that up, and you've got a padded deep pocket. As you can see, my hand enters all the way. So from here to the bottom of the backpack, you've got a deep padded, very nicely padded, very smooth. It's not like a microfiber, but it's pretty smooth material. I don't know if you can see that. It's not see-through, but it is double-sided. So on both sides, you do have that nice padded material. So you go ahead and close that, and you open this up, and there you go. You've got what would be like a laptop holder. So you could you could fit a laptop in there, a, a normal size, pretty good size laptop. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good feature right there. Now, I assume if you wanted to, you could put a hydro in there, a hydration carrier, and then just not close the zipper all the way on the top. So if that's that big of a worry for you on this system, then I worry not because this is, this is not a waterproof line, but this is. So you're not gonna get any sweating coming to your backpack. Now let's look at the back. It has a very similar padding as majority of their other backpacks. It's nothing special on the padding on the back. It's a mesh with a foam plate and it's really good at making your back sweat. It's not really good at letting you breathe, but it is a very comfortable like I said, it is a very comfortable back setup. Now, if you're wearing a t-shirt and tie using this, it's going to pull your shirt out. I speak from personal experience on it. But it isn't really um, that much of a downer because this is just something that you use like inside the theme park kind of a backpack. Same kind of deal on the straps. You've got a good strap, good thick strap. Nice double seam. Now, you might be asking, what the heck are these? I'll leave that till a little bit later. I'll just tuck these away in the nice little holes that are provided. So don't worry about those. But like I said, you've got a potential hydro carrier slash laptop carrier, as well as a nice padded pocket and a pretty decent sized pack. This pack, I would say, is bigger than a Camelback Mule, if you're familiar with that in size it's it's i'd say one and a half the size maybe almost two times the size of a camel mac mule so you can fit a pretty big or pretty good amount of stuff in this backpack as a day pack and we'll put it through its paces a little bit later in a different video and see what we can actually fit in this guy now assuming that you didn't have the day pack on here something cool that i just didn't notice is that with these straps, you could do something that's pretty interesting. You would actually be able to put a long board on here. You would be able to put a short board, any kind of a skateboard, or potentially even a snowboard on here. So you could put a variety of different things on here. And with this strap setup, if you wrenched them down and you had something in your backpack, you could potentially have a really cool system here for carrying around some sort of a board or uh, potentially even hiking or camping gear in this kind of a slot right here. So you've got a pretty cool setup. The, granted, you're not using your day pack. So you open that up and now you've just got this zipper sitting here which this zipper only affects your day pack. Now you do not need to remove your day pack to pull the, the main pocket open. So we've got the, the day pack on here. You do need to have these clips open to open the main pocket here, but the day pack can still be mounted at that point. So with the day pack on there, it's just two more pockets. It doesn't really affect anything. It's actually a really, really cool tight system with a waterproof zipper liner cover, even for the backpack attachment or the day pack attachment. So that's cool. You can cover that up 
and it's out of your way, no worries. Now on the inside, very, very, very simple. Nothing too complicated. Yet again, you've got your famous, really good, waterproof zipper cover that, uh, that Osprey does really well. You've got a couple tie downs on either corner. Right there, right there. You've got a couple on the bottom as well. But you open it up, sticking with the neon green in fashion. Let's pull that zipper all the way down. Okay, so you open her up and you can see you've got two tie downs. If you want to put your James Bond suit in there and don't want to get it that ruined or wrinkled. Now when I first saw this, I was hoping that this was going to be a hydro carrier and then I realized the purpose of this kind of a backpack is not a hydro carrier, it's a throw it in the, in the carry-on uh, and not worry about it kind of a deal. So, and then be able to leave the airport with a, with a backpack on. So that's, that's the premises of this backpack. This backpack is not a let's go backpacking in it. This is a let's travel somewhere and throw up a nice backpack. And so that's why I bought it, is because it's a really cool city backpacking kind of a, a deal here with a day pack attached. So you, you look at the cover here, you've got a nice packet. You can put your toiletries in here while you've got two, three changes of clothes in there. And I will do a test to see what all things I can fit in here. But this is a nice pocket. It's mesh, so it'll breathe. You don't have to worry about it. Maybe you could put your food in there or something that you want a little bit more accessible while you've got the other things tightened down. So this is a really cool system. Now, like I was saying, there are a bunch of different tie downs on it. You've got a tie down on the end of each one of the cross straps on both sides. So that is a cool point that you do have a bunch of tie downs plus the tie downs that are here on the top. You've got two on the top here, two on the top here. And then you do have a couple more tie downs here on the bottom with even the clips and buckles. So that's awesome. Now, before I lose the sun entirely and completely, I want to show you guys the strap setup, which is a really ingenious design. Completely hidden, does not look like a backpack at this point. You open it up. You pull it all the way down. The zipper does kind of go in, so you do have to pull it farther than you would imagine. And now what you see is a full backpackers style strap setup with shoulder adjustment pads, like I said, shoulder adjustment pads and straps, my, my apologies on the terminology there. Um, you've got a chest locking buckle, as well you do have a whistle, and then you've got these two straps or buckles that I will explain a little bit later what the purpose is. Then you've got a, a waist belt, which is a really, really nice waist belt. And then you've got a much better pad setup than what is on the on the day pack, but it is kind of the same system, but it is set up a little bit different. Now, on the inside of the flap, you've got a identification or a name card so that you can identify this as yours, which is a nice addition because this is a travel style um, piece of equipment. So I'm gonna tuck this away and show you guys what I mean for the Velcro. So that Velcro is right here on the bottom. It does sit kind of low, but you tuck it away. And then nobody would ever know that that was even there. That's a really cool setup. So now you've got your full strap set up. Alrighty guys, here we go. So I've got the backpack on, and as you can see, I am a little fat at this current moment, but the backpack does have a pretty high clearance on it, and uh, it's it's kind of weird how high it is because this this handle is like right in your head. But now, granted, in sizes of, for example, a Dana Designs or a different version of the Osprey backpack that would be a full backpacking backpack, it would still exist. So it's just a little bit in your head, and that's kind of interesting we'll have to see how that plays out when you actually load the pack with items but I was commenting on these and what their role is and I'm gonna go ahead and show you
Okay, so let's assume that you had all your valuables in this and you're going through a part of town where you didn't want to get this stolen. Um, I, I'm not sure how crazy I am on this idea, but this is what its purpose is. So you've got all your things in here and you, what you do simply is these little straps and buckles that I showed you earlier, you go ahead and remove those from the little sheath where they were. You just pull them out. And now you've got these buckles that now attach to the front of you. Now, now your day pack's on the front of you. So if you've got a lot of weight in this, theoretically, it'll even your load out a lot. Now I feel like I'm wearing a plate carrier <laughs> on the front of me, and, or I feel like I should be like jumping out of an airplane at like 80,000 feet, or jumping into water, and this is my respirator. It's kind of weird, if you're claustrophobic, this might get you kind of anxious. I'm not really sure how much I like it, but it is kind of an interesting idea. Now, there aren't other straps. There, there, there aren't, and there's not other straps to, to cinch the side in, or at least I haven't found any. But there's, there's nothing else for side attachment. So this is kind of just free dangling at that point. Now, if this had your camera in it, and you were in India, for example, and you were a photographer, you could, Pull your camera out, snap your pictures, and put your camera away rather quickly. And now you don't look like too much of a crazy tourist with a $10,000 Canon 60D or a Canon 60 Mark whatever and have a lot of attention drawn to you. So this might be something cool. Plus you do have your two water bottle holders right there and so you can chug your water because they are not all that addressable when they're here. This is a big backpack, and so you can remove it very easily. <laughs> not sure how practical this is. I'll have to try it out, see how it really plays a role, but it's a nifty idea. Not really sure if I'm ever gonna use it. But hey guys, this is my, not really so much a review as much as a demonstration of the use of the Osprey Farpoint Farview 55 liter with the Farpoint Day Pack attachment. So it's a really cool backpack slash suitcase that I'm gonna be running through its paces over the next couple months and years hopefully. Osprey makes some pretty good products and be expecting a video review of the Camelback Mule and the Osprey Sarak 32. So it's a good product. You can find it at REI or stores like Wise for about 180 American dollars. Stay tuned guys for more. This is Outdoorsman 1.